Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you a really really cool trick. Um, a lot of people have this issue where when they constrain something to the mouse it doesn't keep the collision rules so therefore it just it goes through all the walls that it's supposed to collide with. And you'll see when I let go inside of a wall it pops back out because it knows it's supposed to collide with it but because of the collision rules it doesn't follow uh, those rules of colliding it only follows the constraint of mouse so um, I have a really cool demo here that you can uh, head on over to gshelper.com and download it free of charge even if you're not going to use it today get it anyways because one day you're going to say to yourself shoot how do I do that and you'll have it so um, I'll show you here I'll press preview and now you'll see when I go to these things it collides with everything just as it should the sides of the walls you know the little obstacles in between collides to everything really cool effect um, and um, you can change the speed of which like when I go here and I go over here and bring it down and you've seen how it flew to there you can change that so it's almost instant or you can make it slower it's up to you um, but the most important part is is it um, it follows your mouse the way it should as almost as if it's constrained and it um, recognizes collision rules so you won't have to have any trouble and what's really cool is you don't have to set up where these things are um, you can just grab a new a new wall and boom it's a wall um, there's nothing to do it just collides with it so that's pretty cool so download it today you'll never know when you're gonna need it I guarantee you you'll find it useful one day and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video